And, and you know, Attorney Mosby, you know, it, it is, as, as I said, there's this conflict, right, between what a lot of people want. Because, look, there, is a, there are a lot of people who want the movements of black bodies to be constantly policed and monitored. They want enforcement of lower level drug crimes, even though a lot of Silicon Valley boys are selling weed now. It's popular for them to do it. But if they know that there's weed being sold in Baltimore, they want those people prosecuted. Right. So when you went out and said, I'm not going to do that anymore, what was the reaction? Because I know there are some people who are concerned that this will just unleash more crime. If you don't go out and, and, and over police these minor crimes, there will just be an explosion of crime. So one of the things that I recognize is, as a prosecutor, my ability to shape the criminal justice system, recognizing, as I stated, that these low-level offenses for Black people in this country can lead to a death sentence. So what I came out and did, it was as a result of the COVID policies, global pandemic. I, I consulted with public health experts, and we moved to depopulate the jails and the prisons, and we, we had an experiment. So for over a year, um, we basically came out and said, we're not going to prosecute these low-level offenses drug possession, prostitution, trespassing, urinating, defecating in public, open container, all of these low level offenses that have nothing to do with public safety. And what we found out through the data, we eliminated 1400 warrants, we dismissed 1400 cases. And based upon that data, I'm happy to say that what we were able to do was to showcase the drug arrests went down by 80%. The number of individuals going in and out of the jails went down by 39 percent. The recidivism rate, only five of those 1,500 individuals actually recidivated. And our violent crime, unlike 63 of the 66 major municipalities in the country, our violent crime went down 20 percent and our property crime went down 39 percent. What we did see a spike in was um, non-fatal shootings and homicides. And what I've mm -hmm. said, based upon the data, is the decline in crime wasn't attributable to my policies. It was attributable to the leadership and stability in the police department. But what that data suggests to me was that these low-level offenses, we, our crime didn't go up. These low-level offenses never had anything to do with public safety. And so we made those policies permanent going forward. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.